the magic of math here, and today we're going to review that a function is a relation in which each input has exactly one unique output by demonstrating our understanding of functions. Here's our problem today. This question has two parts. We'll begin with part A. You're asked to consider the graphs. Which statement about the graphs is true? You're given four statements and four graphs. I'm going to ask you to pause the video here, answer to the best of your ability, and then come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Good luck. Welcome back. So the first thing I'm going to look at is my four answer choices, which I can see that they're comparing two of the graphs and saying that they represent y as a function of x. Each one of them ends with represent y as a function of x. So now I can determine which of these four graphs are functions, and I can tell that they're going to be two. So I'm going to check these using the vertical line test, which you take your pencil and you put it on the graph and you pass it left to right. If it ever passes through one more than one point on the graph at a time, it fails the vertical line test. If it only ever passes through one point at a time, then it passes and the graph is a function. So let's go back and try that again. We're going to pass our pencil left to right, and you can see that it's only ever passing through one point on the graph at a time. So this is a function because it passes the vertical line test. On graph two, we can see that as soon as we put our vertical, our pencil vertically on our graph, it passes through every point on this line. So therefore, graph two fails the vertical line test because more than one point is covered up with the pencil. Graph three, as I put my pencil on the graph, I can see I pass through the graph in two points. So two different points, that means it fails the vertical line test and it's not a function. And then graph four, as I pass my pencil vertically left to right, I can see it's only ever gonna pass through one point on the graph at a time and it passes and graph four is a function. So we came up with graph one and graph four that passed the vertical line test and they are functions. We go to our choices here and we can see that answer choice B is only graph one and graph four represent Y as a function of X. So our answer for part A is B. Moving on to part B. The relationship between the X and Y values in this table is not a function. One of the values of X is missing from the table as shown. What is one value of x that could replace the missing value in the table to show that y is not a function of x? So I'm going to ask you to pause the video again, do your best to answer part b, and then come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So let's begin by understanding that this table is not a function. So we want to finish this table by putting in a value for x here that when we look at it, it is not a function. We're asked to identify one value of x so that y is not a function of x. So when we look at a table of values, we can't do the vertical line test with our pencil because it's not a graph, it's a table. So a function is a relation in which each input has exactly one unique output. So you would look at all your inputs, your x values, and make sure that they only occur once and they have their own unique output. So that tells me that if I take 7 and 12, so let's start with 7, if I repeat 7 as an input, now this is not a function because 7 as an input has an output of negative 6 and positive 8, and it is not a function because there isn't only one unique output, there are two. I could also take 7 out and replace it with 12. If I replaced this unknown value with 12, now 12 has two different outputs. It's not one unique. We have 12 and with an output of negative 1 and 12 with an output of 8. So therefore, it is not a function, seeing as the input 12 has two different outputs. So you could have answered 7 or you could have answered 12, and either answer would be correct. But they are the only two answers that would be accepted. Either 7 or 12 
in this table would make it this relation, not a function. Thank you for joining me today to review that a function is a relation in which each input has exactly one output so that we could demonstrate our understanding of functions. That's the magic of math, where we master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.